All right, we're back. American Gravy, Andrew and Lauren Gruhl here, and today we're talking about lobsters, something we know a little bit about, right? Yeah. How many lobsters do you think you've eaten in your life? Oh dear, oh my God, Wait, possibly a hundred she did her. She did her blood work last week and it was like 40% lobster. 40%, yeah, we're good. So, um, so American lobsters, right? Why are these American lobsters? So American lobsters are really the only lobsters with claws. Most of the other lobsters you're gonna see are spiny or rock lobsters, Caribbean spinies, California spinies, cold water, South Africa, Australia, all great lobsters, but nothing is as rich and buttery and sweet as the American lobster, which you get, and it, the species is called the American lobster, typically caught in waters, New Hampshire, Maine, and then into Southeast Canada, right? That's it. It's the only place you can get these. And you might think to yourself, wow, that's a small area in which I can get these lobsters. How are they so abundant? Well, because this is one of the most well-managed fisheries in the world. And the people who manage it are the fishermen who catch the lobsters. It's a true success story when it comes to an iconic American fishery that's just done so well over the years. Um, and now we get to create a business on the bounty of this beautiful species. But enough about that. Uh, let's talk about breaking this sucker down. Well, I'm gonna break it down while Andrew talks about break all, it down. The, wicka, all, wicka, wicka. all the parts. All right, okay. you talk, whoa, hello, hello. Okay. So so with that one, as you notice, she was twisting and, and pulling yeah, it. Yeah, twisting and pulling, the arms, pretty easy. Same thing, twist and pull. Yep twist and pull, and then you're left with this body. Okay, so now with this body, right, what you can do is you can pull you can pull all of these legs off. We got a baby around here somewhere. You can pull all of these legs off and actually use a rolling pin. We won't do that right now for the purposes of saving your time, right? But you can use a rolling pin. And that's like the best meat. Yeah, it this is. This is the it really sweetest is. meat. And people just disregard this all the yep. time and throw it away, but no. So I'm just squeezing it out right here but um, just to show you how the meat can kind of come out, but really using a rolling pin to get all this meat out and then you kind of you can kind of suck it. Mm, a little lobster, a little lobster leg meat right there. Lobster suck it right meat. out. And then save this body too, because if you got a couple of these, just freeze them, boil them, make a little lobster fumet, maybe, maybe some lobster bisque. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so now I'm going to break this part off pretty easy. You can, there's like a little, uh, what would you call that? Like a little joint? Well, this is the knuckle, right? <laughs> the so this knuckle. is the knuckle. You break it off. So so one little trick too is, is if you pull this piece of the claw off right here, okay? And just kind of wiggle it out, then you'll keep your claw intact. So if you have if you have a lobster cracker, you can use that. But if you don't, you can also just take a hammer and you can cover the lobster claw and you can smash it with the hammer. I'll let you go to town on it with the- uh, With this one? With the cracker right there, yep. Oh geez. Oh, there you geez. go. I think I just broke the. I think you might. You might have broken my heart. So I have superhuman strength, and it's not. It's real. That is true. She does have superhuman strength. <laughs> Learn this. The good. The good and the bad. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Saving all of these shells for our. Look at that. Our bisque and yeah, bingo. There you Beautiful. go. There you have it. So uh, let's put that in a yeah. another bowl over here because we're ultimately going to mix this up to make some. Maybe make. Maybe maybe make a lobster roll. Just saying. Definitely going to make a lobster roll. Right? Yep, beautiful. And these knuckles, this this knuckle meat, in my opinion, is the best part of the lobster. It's sweet, it's tender, it's not as chewy as the tail, um, but it's got a ton of flavor in there. Ooh, there you go. This one's a little rough. Yeah, these are, so these are real hard shell lobsters. And the, the, the strength of the shell changes based on the seasons because the lobsters will molt. So you always want to ask your, you know, your, your fishmonger, you know, what season are we in? Are these hard shell, soft shell lobsters, et cetera? Um, here we go. This gonna... one, this one is tough. I think I can pull it out this way. There you way, go. Though. Yep. Just slip yeah. it right nope, out. It's oh, breaking. You, you got it's it. It's breaking. Shake. Give it. it give it, it a shake down. It. Right. Give it a shake down. Oh. Come on. You there, can do it. Keeping it. Trying to keep the whole thing intact, even though we're going to ultimately <laughs> cut it for, for lobster rolls. But we you, tried. You get the point, right? So this will go in our this will go in our greatest hits bloopers. Um, <laughs> but there's that. There's those two big fat claws in there. We're going to save those shells. Now let's. Now on this this tail, right? I just. Squeeze the tail, right? Both sides of it. Squeeze it, it's like a big fat shrimp tail. And then just, with your thumbs, just push it open on both sides. And there you go. You well, talk, just... talk about that stuff, because some people get intimidated by. Yeah, look, this is flavor country right here, okay? I actually enjoy this, I like to eat this. Because then what you'll do is, you know, you'll pull this tail apart right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, give this just a little wash. This is the intestinal tract, the vein, so you want to maybe give that a little rinse down. Um, 
Yeah, and then just this is some of the roe. I'll put that off to the side, but I'll save that tail in there to chop up for but the lobster But it's good though, roll. so people, when they see it, they shouldn't be intimidated by it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You wanna be able to eat that lo that lobster roe. Look, it's it's delicious. You can make stuffing out of it. Um, you know, even if you're gonna stuff the tail, mix it with a little bit of breadcrumb, perhaps some potato chips, butter, put it in the back of the tail, and bam, you got yourself a little stuffed lobster. Um, and then these knuckles, you know, you just kinda, kinda work around them, right? Uh, and this is this is fun because if if you save the knuckles and then you you uh, you know you just make the knuckles into a sandwich, you've got the world's greatest knuckle sandwich. Oh my God, dad joke. <laughs> yep, yep well, you know, I mean, dad joke. professional here, professional, professional dad, joke. dad joke. And look, see, this is fun, you know, just a little little date night maybe, just breaking down some lobsters with your lover. Uh, oh. Yeah, just spraying all over me. Uh, there we go. So. Here we go. So we've got all the lobster meat right here. You're gonna finish off on that knuckle. Uh, I like to actually keep most of this intact, right? So with these claws, I'll just leave big fat pieces right there. Just beautiful fat pieces of the claw. Um, and then I will chop up the tail meat because the tail meat is a little bit chewier. So you wanna make sure you get bite-sized pieces with that tail meat if you're gonna be making your lobster roll. Uh, there we go, we got it. Yeah, that's beautiful. So let's just put all this off to the side, okay? Why don't you go ahead and uh, grab grab one of these knives and give a little chop on this. A little chop. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Oh uh, yeah, all right. Okay, I've got some chives here, just some freshly cut chives I'm gonna throw in there. Andrew loves his chives, he does. There we bingo, go. Bingo, bingo. So this is a lobster sauce that we've put together and I call it a lobster sauce, not because it tastes like lobster, because it goes great with lobster. So uh, we will do a recipe for this sauce in a separate video, but just we'll call it our citrus, uh, lemon, creamy citrus lemon herb sauce. Yeah, this is insane. You guys will love this. You need it at all times. A little drizzle over the lobster. We're going cold on this. Sometimes we'll just do hot butter, but for the, for the purposes of this one, you wanna give that one a mix for me. Yeah. I'm gonna toast a uh, split top butter roll here. Shave, the, just, uh, now I'm just gonna cut a little pocket in the top of this traditional, uh, you know, split top pull apart roll right here, okay? And I'm gonna start to toast this in a little bit of butter. So we're gonna have hot roll chilled lobster. Okay. So I've got a nice cast iron here. I'm just gonna throw this over medium high heat. The pan has been greased down with butter, lathered up, butter and uh, a, a touch of suntan lotion. I'm just kidding, just wanna see if anyone was paying attention. Now I'm gonna to toast this roll on all sides. If you gotta add more butter, add more butter. In my opinion, this is the time to add the butter. Keep the lobster in that nice, cool, creamy lemon herb sauce and then get your roll toasted, wrapped in butter all around so you got that hot roll with the cool lobster in there. Two bites, right, because we can't do one. So two bites, everybody knows the rules. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, now I've got this toasted on all sides. I'm gonna bring it back over to the cutting board. So here we go, we've toasted the roll now. We've got it toasty all around. Almost, that butter is almost brown, right? Like a Bernoise set, adds a little rich, nuttier flavor to it. And this is where this is a two person job, right? Food <laughs> is love, love is a relationship, uh, and here you go. So you go. I'm gonna just take this, almost like you're pushing a baked potato open, right? Two fingers in the center, squeezing at the ends, and then your lover packs it. <laughs> your lover packs it. Yep, there we go. All right, now Once again, it. whole lobster's worth in one roll. That's the key. I gotta get messy here with my hands. Yeah, get messy. Get silly, get messy. Oh my God, that looks great. Get some of that extra juice on top there. Oh, bingo, right? Now I like to hit this once again, a little more chive on top. Okay, and then this is where that togarashi comes in that we talked about. So just a nice little spice on there. And there you have it. 